Greetings, thanks for checking out this video. Let's take a look at Steinberg's Spectral Layers Go in Pro Tools in ARA mode. Spectral Layers Go is a free gateway edition of Spectral Layers that can run in Pro Tools straight away, no activation or authorization required. It contains a really useful subset of the tools found in the Pro Edition with regard to both manual editing tools and AI-assisted processes. We'll start with AI-assisted song unmixing. Here I have Pro Tools Ultimate open with a mixed music track on the timeline in the edit window. Let's listen to it. Right-click over the track and select Spectral Layers Edit. The Spectral Layers interface opens in the ARA Editor window. Move to the Modules panel in Spectral Layers. Here you can see that there are six available processes in Spectral Layers Go. They're all great, but arguably the two most important ones in this free edition are Unmix Song Vocals and VST3 Effects. Back in the Unmix Song Vocals module, we can see that our Go Edition options are limited to vocals only. OK, let's perform the process. Click Apply. The process does the work, and now here's the result. We have two layers, one called Vocal, which contains the vocal, and one called Other, which contains everything else. I'll solo the vocals layer. You leave me wanting more, cause I can never get enough. Every time you close the door, I feel like I've been turned up. And now here's the layer called Other. Now that we have the vocals extracted from the music, we'll definitely want to get both parts on the Pro Tools timeline for editing. Advanced ARA2 support makes it easy. The first step is to create as many new Pro Tools tracks as we need. Here, I've created two new stereo tracks and I've given them names. Here in the Spectral Layers Go Layers panel, I'm shift clicking the layers to select them both and then dragging them up into the Pro Tools edit window. And now this content is available for editing in Pro Tools. Here I'm soloing the music track. And now the vocals track. You leave me wanting more Cause I can never get enough At this point I can choose to delete the original track which will take Spectral Layers out of the project leaving us with our stemmed audio on the Pro Tools timeline. The new rendered stems can be found in a dedicated Pro Tools project folder. You can render Spectral Layers Go scenarios straight to the Pro Tools timeline. Here I want to capture the music sans vocal for use in Pro Tools. With the Vocals layer in Spectral Layers Go muted, I'm right-clicking on the Pro Tools track and selecting Spectral Layers Render. Now I have the music track isolated and the Spectral Layers Go interface has been cleared. Keep in mind, when these two tracks are played together with no changes in Pro Tools, you get 100% phase accurate playback with no degradation. Spectral Layers Go has a VST3 effects module that allows you to access VST3 plugins in Pro Tools. Let's apply an effect to the vocals layer. Select the VST3 effects module. The dialog appears where you can access your VST3 plugin collection. Here I'm selecting a phase shifter plugin and engaging a preview right inside the dialog. Every time you close the door, feel like I've been turned on. I can preview the process while dialing in the plugin settings, like so, and then apply the results when I'm satisfied with the settings. You leave me wanting more, cause I can never get enough. Of course, everything is undoable. The top menu bar in Spectral Layers Go ARA is virtually identical to the one found in the Spectral Layers Go standalone application, which can be accessed after registering and authorizing it. 
OK, you've seen a couple of the processes available in the Modules panel. Now let's take a look at some of the items in the Tools area located over here on the left side of the interface. Here we have a very useful subset of the selection tools and other tools available in the Pro Edition. We've even included the Eraser tool, which is an excellent resource that you'll want to start using right away. I'll show you how this works right now, and then we'll go back and look at all the selection tools and see how they work. Listen to this problematic acoustic guitar part. There are a lot of string squeaks. We'll fix the problem using the eraser tool. First, I'm going to go into the display panel and refine my view to isolate the string squeaks visually. This will make it a lot easier to do the work. The display panel controls in Spectre Layers Go are deep and extensive, and really useful for making the kinds of precision edits that we're going to do now. OK, let's listen to the guitar part again, and this time, watch the spectrogram and try to make a connection between what you hear and what you see. Here I'm selecting the Zoom tool and zooming in on the squeaks, and we can see a really high level of detail. Now I'm selecting the Eraser tool and configuring the tool size as well as the amount of attenuation applied with one pass of the mouse. I'm dialing in a 24 dB cut. And here I'm drawing over the string squeaks. Note that I'm going for a very conservative fix. You could cut a lot deeper into this material and still arrive at a completely transparent and perfect edit. Notice how very short, sharp spikes can create very serious problems that can ruin otherwise perfect takes. Dealing with these sounds with sample accurate precision like this can be a lifesaver, and quick fixes like this can be a mind-blowing experience for your clients as well. Try it and see for yourself. OK, let's hear the result. And once again, the original part. OK, now let's go through the selection tools in the Tools area. Listen to this drum loop. Here in the Tools area, I'm selecting and using the Frequency Range Selection tool to select everything from 300 Hz and higher in the spectrogram. Over in the Spectral Layers Go top menu, I'm performing Edit, Cut Special, Cut to New Layer. And this is the Layers functionality of Spectral Layers in action. In the Layers panel, I can mute the high frequency content, which then makes the low end available for editing in Pro Tools. Other tools in the Tools area enable you to make rectangular selections, elliptical selections, and selections using the Selection Brush. Using the Transform tool, you can fine tune selection boundaries, as well as perform time and pitch shifting operations. The main point here is, once selected, the target audio can be processed on the timeline, extracted to new layers, transferred to existing layers, or deleted entirely. Create workflows in which absolutely no content is ever lost, ensuring the most phase-coherent end results possible. Additional tools include the Frequency Pencil tool, which allows you to draw frequencies directly on the spectrogram. All right. Back in the Modules panel, we have modules for standard mixing gain and normalization operations. And here, we have the Signal Generator module, where we can generate silence, tones, transients, and noise in the spectrogram. This module is identical to the Signal Generator in the Pro Edition, which is shown here. Here I'm generating some transients, and then mixing in a tone and some noise. Spectral Layers Go is your free gateway to the incredible Spectral Layers experience. The tools in Spectral Layers work together ingeniously to provide an editing experience that is truly remarkable in its ability to shape audio content to achieve seemingly impossible objectives for audio editors in every field, including repair and restoration, music and post-production mixing and editing, creative sound design, and much more.